Welcome to this new video talking all about the latest release of Neat firmware for Neat Bar, Neat Bar Pro, Neat Board, and Neat Pad as a controller or scheduling panel. Let's look at the official release note and step through what is included in this new update. Firstly, if your device is set to auto updates, then you already have the update as it was pushed out over the weekend to the stable channel. If your device is set to manual updates, then you can select auto updates and it will download the newest builds. It will also be available in Teams Admin Center, TAC and Zoom Device Management, ZDM, shortly too, so you can deploy from there. Here we can see the build numbers and you can cross-check these in TAC ZDM or on the device itself on Microsoft Teams by pressing More, Settings, Device Settings, About. And here is where you will see which versions are installed on your bar and pad, including the next section here where we see the app versions too. The good news here is that all the Microsoft Teams apps have been updated to the latest GA apps that match what is in TAC. This is important as when you factory reset the devices, you no longer have to go into TAC and push the latest Teams app. It is on the latest version now. This is great for installers who may not have access to customer TAC platforms. You get all the latest features in Update 2 on Microsoft Teams rooms, such as smart camera controls and default meeting layouts, which are applicable for neat devices. However, if your device was on a different Teams app version, this is not automatically updated as part of this new stable firmware release. It only applies to the out-of-box setup. This behavior may change in the future. There's a link above in the top right on a video I've done on all the new features with Update 2. Now here are the 12 new features in this latest release. If you've spoken to me about this release, you may have heard me mention this release as Fuji. Let's start with the first feature, Android Security Patch Levels. This is where Neat has updated the AOSP layer and added many bug fixes and patches for the underlying operating system. So, if you look at Intune when your device enrolls in Microsoft Teams mode, you'll see that the patch level is newer now than in the previous release. The key to this release now as well is that we no longer support downgrading the devices. Once you update, there's no going back. This is to ensure the device remains secure. The next feature is a redesign of the NEAT system settings. This is to organize items into better logical groups and also plan for additional future items such as NEAT Center. So that will appear under devices rather than the previous pairing. The feature that everyone wants as their meeting room insurance policy is bring your own device or BIOD. This builds on the BIOD mode that was already available on Neat Bar and Neat Board. Neat Bar Pro now has it too. This will need to be enabled on the device or via Neat Pulse and you will need to provide the system with a USB-C to USB-A or USB-C cable that you will connect to your laptop. Next, we have the microphone sensitivity on bar slash board slash bar pro when you reduce the neat boundary settings. When this slider setting for depth is below 4.5 M or 14.6 feet, then the microphone sensitivity is reduced. This is only a slight adjustment as we need to remain certified with Microsoft and Zoom on their room guidance. Feature 5 in our list is just for neat bar pro and neat frame devices. This is called dereverberation and it helps with rooms that have a lot of echoes. This feature is enabled by default and always on on Neat Frame. And to enable this on Neat Bar Pro, you can do this on Neat Pad Controller under the audio and video settings with a feature called Voice Isolation. You can do this via Neat Pulse as well. This should improve poor room setups, however. There is nothing better than putting in some acoustic treatment to rooms. Feature 6 is exclusively for Neat Frame running Zoom software. This enables the device to have a great experience in a one-to-one -one call, much like we do today when the device is running Microsoft Teams. You can also control this in the user interface at any time during a Zoom call. And remaining with NeatFrame, the next feature allows easy access to Bluetooth settings by simply sliding out the side menu and it takes you to the pairing menu in the system settings. What is new here too with the slide out menu? We have a small UI change so that there is a small vertical line showing that there is a hidden menu on the right hand side. The next feature is a unique feature for NeatFrame. This is where it is possible to connect a USB handset to the NeatFrame for private conversations. The device that has been verified for this release is the Plathesis CT140 Pro USB handset. One of the notable features here is that it supports cradle hook detection. The good news is with the next feature for Zoom Rooms. 
you are now getting 720p resolution when using Zoom's multi-stream feature with NeatBar Pro. The tenth feature applies to all devices in the NEAT portfolio, and this allows NEAT devices to use Simple Certificate Enrollment Protocol, or CEIP for short. This means devices can use a secure certificate to enroll in the network. It has been designed so it can be done in a scalable way for admins. 802.1x is now a general release with this build, but SEEP is a beta feature, so test it out and provide any feedback to NEAT on this. The eleventh feature is quite local to the R&D team. We now support Norwegian and Swedish languages on all NEAT devices running Microsoft Teams. Finally, we have the rest of the improvements and bug fixes in this release. Some new features include the capability to connect NEATBoard to wireless networks running 802, 11R, roaming. The one big thing that isn't covered here in this overview of features is NEAT Pulse. This has now gone GA and is available to any NEAT customer free of charge until the end of the year. So visit https semicolon slash slash www.neat.no slash pulse and sign up for the NEAT Pulse Starter and you'll get full admin controls for your NEAT devices and the ability to set profiles so you can configure once, deploy many. We also have an industry first full remote control for the touch panel and being able to see what is showing on HDMI one port all within the browser probably the most powerful admin tool on the market for your Microsoft Teams or Zoom rooms. And that is it. That's all the new features in the latest NEAT release. Moving forward, we are moving to a more regular cadence of updates. So the next update might have just a few features, but will be more frequent so we can get the best software possible for your devices. Remember to sign up for the new releases alerts so you can be made aware of when we promote a new software release to the preview channel and you can test it out before anyone else. Bye for now.